Namaste, I am Krishna Yatanya Mandela, your EV bro. In our first part, we have watched what is Cytic Hub EV and how they are doing the manufacturing plant and what are the business plans about B2B and in how many days they are submitting their lithium and battery packs to their end user and the pricing, everything we have discussed in the first part. If you haven't watched the video, we will display that in iCards, you can click that and watch it. Now in the second video, we are going to discuss more about the technical part of the lithium and battery pack from cells, how they are doing the sorting technique and how they are assembling the battery packs, what kind of safety measures they are taking and in the first video they have said they are following AIS 156 standards. What kind of tests they are doing in AIS 156 standards, everything we are going to discuss technically in this video. Over to our technical team person, Mr. Gopal. Thank you. For getting the cells, uh, we need to do the uh, uh, cell grading. Okay, why? Because we need to do the grading only, then only we can uh, go ahead for the next step. It means the pack manufacturing or whatever it may be. Uh, normally, we are getting the cells from the China and we are taking only the 3C cells only. Okay, normally the solar grade will is available and 1C cells also available, but we are not suggesting that C ratings. We are only uh, taking only 3C cells and uh, 1C charging rate uh, cells we are taking. Why? Because uh, uh, we don't know the uh, uh, end user uh, conditions, usage and what kind usages of. and conditions. That's why we are giving our best. That's why we are using uh, 3C cells. And uh, this one is the grading mission. Okay. Uh, now uh, we can uh, use it uh, this mission to test the capacity of the cell. Okay. For example, uh, we, uh, we are taking maybe 10,000, 20,000 cell. Each and every cell we need to test it on here in this mission. Why? Because we need to know the what is the actual capacity of the cell. Uh, depends upon the old age and current uh, in the mission will calculate what is the exact capacity okay in in this cycle it will take six to eight hours minimum for one cell testing it will take six to eight hours for one cycle test we are making each and every cell five cycles mm. okay why because as for as 156 standard we need to test it five cycles minimum okay that's why uh, we are uh, we are uh, checking each and every parameter voltage current and capacity Okay, here uh, when, uh, the pack, uh, the cells will come into the uh, greater than the value. For example, you can take this is a 2500 mAh battery uh, cell. Uh, we need to, uh, at least it need to become 2600. Otherwise, we are rejecting the cells and we are uh, sending, uh, sending back. Okay, why? Because we need to give it maximum capacity on normal conditions and uh, whenever it will go to the harsh conditions, at least it will give 2500. Mm -hmm. Then the customer will satisfy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in the EV, normally the complaints will uh, complaint is mileage. Mm -hmm. The customer is complaining on the mileage. That's why uh, if you take a uh, normal grade cells, the uh, gradually in the six months or eight months of the uh, capacity and the cell uh, degradation also happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever we will take high quality cells, it means three C cells we can take it now. Uh, the capacity is very high. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we can take uh, normal conditions also. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, the cell will uh, sustain. And next uh, we can go it to the software. Uh, in the software, we can check it out. It's a uh, yesterday uh, we completed the testing. Okay, uh, you can check it out in the testing. Uh, here it is coming uh, 5,400. Okay, normally I told you it is a 5,000 mAh cell, but uh, in the uh, testing it is coming 5,400 uh, mAh battery. It means we are getting more than uh, 400 uh, milliampere uh, extra current we are getting, uh, capacity we are getting. That's why. Uh, we are using the, uh, this type of cells only. We are rejecting uh, 5100 also we can reject. Why? Mm. Because it's a, now we are not used anything. Mm. But in the after one year the cell cycle will be also some uh, half of cycles will be completed. That time uh, it, at least it will come uh, 5000. Okay. okay, that's why we are uh, looking in the future also. After getting the grading, we are sorting each and every cells and uh, we are moving into the sorting mission. Uh, here it is the sorting mission. Uh, here uh, the different different capacity of the cells will be there. Uh, depends upon the capacity 5300, 5400, 5450. Like that we will uh, so aggregate the cells. And after that we need to make the voltage and uh, IR test. Okay. According to the voltage and IR test, we are making sorting. Okay. Why? Because uh, the main crucial part of the battery pack is this one. Battery pack, you can take it normally 200, three, uh, 200 to 300 cells will be there. Okay, each cell, uh, uh, each and every cell need to be in the same voltage. That's why we, we are making the uh, voltage and uh, uh, IR sorting. Uh, in this voltage sorting, we are taking, uh, uh, after uh, point, we are taking four digits. Okay, it means uh, the millivolts, we are millivolts of deflection only, we are putting. Okay, uh, then only the pack will come into the good, good life and everything will be there. Why? Because uh, in the discharging conditions or charging conditions, 
मे बी इन द नेगेटिव साइड एंड द पॉजिटिव साइड द करंट विल बी टेकिंग ना दट टाइम द सेल्स डिफरेंस विल बी ह्यूज इफ यू पुट इन द सेम वोल्टेज देन द वोल्टेज डिफरेंस विल बी वेरी लेस देन द पैक विल चार्ज प्रॉपरली एंड प्रॉपरली डिस्चार्ज इट विल कम द प्रॉपर कैपासीटी वी कैन गेट इट द पैक ओके आफ्टर गेटिंग द शॉर्टिंग नेक्स्ट द सेल्स विल कम इन टू हियर सर ओके दिस इज द सेल होल्डर्स ओके फॉर द सेल स्पेसिंग्स वी आर यूजिंग दिस सेल होल्डर्स ओके फॉर द स्टैंडर्ड्स वी नीड टू गिव इट द प्रॉपर गैप टू सेल टू सेल गैपिंग वी नीड टू गिव इट ओके फॉर दैट वन वी मैन वी स्पेशली मैनुफैक्चर्ड दिस पार्ट विद स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिंग ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट द सेल्स विल पुट लाइक दिस एंड डिपेंड्स अपॉन द कैपासिटी एंड वोल्टेज वी विल वी विल चेंज द कॉन्फिग्रेशन द सेल्स विल इनसेट लाइक दैट एंड देन वी विल मूव इन टू द स्पॉट वेल्डिंग मिशन आफ्टर पुटिंग द सेल्स द पैक विल लुक लाइक दिस इट्स अ सेमी कंप्लीटेड ओके इट मीन्स इट्स नॉट कंप्लीटेड ओके वी नीड टू मेक इट द स्पॉट वेल्ड ओके डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वोल्टेज एंड करंट कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी नीड टू मेक द स्पॉट वेल्डिंग वी आर कमिंग इन टू दिस स्पॉट वेल्डिंग मिशन Uh, here uh, depends upon the configurations uh, making the spot welding okay De- uh, this is a 70 to 40 battery pack okay 70 to 40 battery pack we are using zigzag method in this method uh, we will come uh, we will reduce the size and uh, it's very complicated process and uh, we need to uh, uh, make it very carefully also why because uh, once uh, spot welding is done we cannot uh, take the uh, nickel strip and uh, we are using uh, pure nickel only not a plated nickel why because in this andhra pradesh and telangana we have humidity is very high that's why we are using pure nickel only not a coated, coated nickel after completing the spot welding we will move ahead to the uh, bms attaching after completing the spot welding the pack will come here and uh, we will put it in the kept on tape why because uh, it will resist to the fire and uh, humidity also it is the bms leads okay we need to solder each and every bms uh, okay why because in the parallel we have uh, each and every cells the cells need to be connected into the bms okay the this wires will connect to the uh, each and every cells why because uh, this cells uh, voltage need to be monitor on the bms okay okay this is the smart bms we are using uh, in this smart bms uh, in this smart bms we are using active balancing in the active balancing uh, what is the main functionality of the active balancing is if we will use this active balancing the cells will be in the balanced state for example uh, in the previous section we completed the voltage sorting yeah. for example you are taking uh, some other voltage uh, 3 4 4 3.444 okay the pack need to be maintained that voltage only more accurately more accurately that's why we are using smart bms okay. this smart bms will balance every second 1 ampere yeah. it means actively it will balance every second it will monitor the battery pack each and every cell uh, each and every parallel uh, pack it will uh, mention and uh, it will automatically balance it so most of the companies are not doing the active yeah, yes, bms active balancing uh, if you can use the active balancing then it's very good pack uh, the service issues also very less why because uh, if you can use it hardware bms uh, some other days of 3 months or 4 months the pack will be unbalanced mm-hmm. okay it means so the cycles also 200 to 300 cycles also completed then we can uh, try to arrange on balance also it will not happen oh. once again it will come into the after one month or two months we will balance also forcefully after one month or two months it will automatically so once commence. you use the passive bms then you cannot use the active yeah, after uh, some conditions okay if the uh, pack will be unbalanced then uh, we cannot balance it okay temporarily we can balance it but uh, otherwise it not work okay okay after 3 months or 4 months uh, definitely we need to make it okay that's why we are using the uh, smart bms in this smart bms uh, we are eliminating that issue okay. service issues and balancing issues uh, we can connect the bms after that uh, the pack will look like this okay uh, after uh, making all the things uh, we can put the battery pack here okay mm. and uh, this is the resin sheet uh, okay Uh, before putting the box we can added the resin sheet box okay why because this resin sheet is uh, thermally insulated and electrically also okay why because it's a high voltage pack if uh, we will not put this part na whenever it will be drop or some here only it will drop somewhere also it will cause us the fire that's why we are putting everything and uh, we are putting into the metal box that's why we are insulating with the thermally and electrically both also okay it will protect it's more act like a cushion as well uh, yes uh, no 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 it's like a sticky only okay. but uh, we will cut it into the pieces and we will stick together okay. like a box we put the uh, pack on here okay in the bar- uh, in the battery pack we can put uh, onto the uh, metal box and we will close it out yeah this is the connector in this connector only we can use the charging and discharging both also as well as we have the communication ports also available okay for the fast charging also it will support our battery pack will support up to 18 ampere 6 to 18 ampere it will support 
and after completing the battery pack uh, we are moving into the aging mission this is the last test yeah this is the last test and uh, here we can get it the battery pack is finally it's good or not mm. why because in this battery pack uh, in the aging test uh, we are making four tests okay for uh, aging test it means uh, uh, up to the maximum conditions we are testing here why because after going out uh, the battery pack uh, maybe the conditions we cannot determine that's mm. why we are testing up to the maximum uh, things why because it's a 60 30 pack for example you can take it out mm. up to 30 ampere that to up to 30 ampere we can take it out okay maximum 30 ampere current we can take continuously mm. until unless the pack will be drained okay and we will test it out why because uh, we are taking this uh, force test whenever the manufacturing defect there is any manufacturing defect also we can identify here only so you do charge and discharge as yeah. well for te one test means one charge and one discharge mm -hmm. in the maximum conditions 18 ampere charge 30 ampere discharge mm -hmm. depends upon the pack okay we will put into the maximum conditions and we will check it out after that if uh, the test is passed then we can move it if uh, there is something any heating issues or anything will be there if one cell will uh, will be less quality or uh, less uh, voltage misbalancing also causes full pack damage it means uh, the heating or uh, it will not fully charge or it full it may be not coming full capacity also that is the issues we are uh, facing here we can sort out here so if any cell is problem with in this process so you're going to change that particular cell uh, no we can make a we can go into the first step only you have to start from yeah, the first step only. That cells we can uh, deassemble it. Once again, we need to make it all the things. Okay. First, uh, we cannot uh, allow the production. Okay, this pack uh, mm. we are not allowing into the production. We will keep it in the side. After that, we can uh, uh, test it out. What is the condition? Why? Because we are using manpower only. Mm. Okay, maybe uh, the uh, we are using tries to differentiate the cells. Maybe they will put uh, like that. Maybe it will causes. Okay, 99% okay, it will not uh, coming. Uh, any one pack in the 100 or 200 packs one pack is coming that pack also we can keep it uh, side only so that's a complete details about Saitika BV how they are doing the lithium-ion battery manufacturing starting from cell to the overall complete battery pack even they have we have discussed about the AS 156 standards how they are doing the thermal runaway test everything been included in this video so we hope you understand how how safe the batteries are so if you like the video please like share and subscribe to EV bro and if you are an electric vehicle owner willing to share your ownership review with us please fill the form in the description below or else you can contact it with the whatsapp number provided in the screen for automobile videos please do subscribe to mvs auto charge the nature drive the future